Ileife. The source and cradle of Yoruba civilization was the center of attraction on Saturday, the 14th of July 2018, as His Imperial Majesty, the Oni of Ife, Oba Babatunde Adeye Yogunsi the Ojeda II, played host to a diverse array of distinguished personalities from all corners of the globe. The traditional institution, the corporate and government world, technocrats, politicians, students, and indeed ordinary Nigerians. The venue was the Oduduwa Hall of the Obafemi Awolowo University, OAU Ileife, which was filled beyond its capacity, and the event was the official launch of the book, written in honor of Morimi Ajashuro, which the Oni of Ife, dedicated to the wife of Ogun State Governor, Her Excellency, Mrs. Olufun Shamusun, who is a perfect replica of Mori Miyajashiro in character and beauty. In attendance at the event were the governors of Ogun and Ondo states, Senator Ibukula Amosu and Mr. Rotimi Akiridolu S.A.N. Oshun State Governor Ogbeni Raouf Aregbeshola was represented by his wife, Alhaja Sherifat Aregbeshola. The wife of Kwara State Governor, Dickness Omolewa Yetunde Ahmed was represented by Hajiya Belikisi Oniyogi. The chairman of the occasion was the Olugbo of Urilegbo in Oyo State, and the vice chairman of the Oyo State's traditional rulers council, His Royal Majesty Oba Ulushalalao, who was joined on the high table by his royal colleagues, the Akarigbo of Remoland, His Royal Majesty Oba Babatunde Ajayi. His Royal Majesty Oba Ken the Ulu Benle, the Ulu of Yewa Land and the Ataoja of Oshogbo Land in Oshun State, His Royal Majesty Oba Jimo Abidemi Oye Tunji Olaonikbekun. The Laroye II, who came to support Mrs. Solofun Shamosu, who is from Oshogbo in Oshun State, Nigeria. The Deputy Governor of Ogun State, Mrs. Yetunde Ononuga, and the Speaker of the Ogun State House of Assembly, the Right Honorable Suraj Adekumbi were joined by Senators Olare Wajuteju Osho, Dada, and a sizable number of members of the Ogun State Executive, Legislative, and Judiciary Councils, who all came to solidarize with the First Lady of the State, Mrs. Olufun Shamusu, who was honored by the Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty, Oba Adeye Yogunzi. To set the event in motion was a special performance of Morimi by the Obafemi Awolowo University Institute of Cultural Studies. In the welcome remarks delivered jointly by Prince Jide Fadairo and Princess Ronke Ademului, who supervised the writing of the book, a detailed information was given about the significance of Morimi Ajashuro in the history of the Yoruba race, particularly in Ileife, the source and why the first lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Olufun Shamosun, was chosen to be honored with a book on Morimi. The Vice Chancellor of the Obafemi Awolowo University, OAU, Professor Eitokwe Ogunbodedi, also used the auspicious occasion to formally welcome all those who attended the event. He paid a well-deserved homage to the Oni of Ife and others who have continued to extend their hand of assistance to the university over the years. I want to welcome all of you to this great occasion and I want to pledge the support of our university and I want to seize this particular occasion to thank all of you and to thank in particular the His, uh, Imperial Majesty, the Governor of uh, my own state, Ondo State, the Governor of uh, Ogun State and I want to say that on this campus we will also continue to support anything that we promote the good thing that Moremi did, which has endured over the centuries. I thank you very much, and I welcome you to Obafemi Aulawa University. In his remarks, the chairman of the occasion, His Royal Majesty, Oba Ulushalalao, the Olugo of Urilegba, saluted the vision of the Oni of Ife for dedicating the special book to the wife of Ogun State Governor, Mrs. Olufun Shamusun whom he considered the perfect choice for the honor. Oba Olushalalao made a strong case for women to come forward and take their rightful position in the different levels of governance. Please, let us see this as a clearer call. 
And I pray, Almighty God, will be with us. Women, please take the mantle of leadership. Uh, our excellence, uh, our excellency, Mrs. Amosu, please, I want you to give this clarion call. Women should take the mantle of leadership. I'm not saying that, uh, oh God, they should overthrow you. Uh, but I want women to take the mantle of leadership. God bless us. God bless Yoruba land. God bless Odubua nation. God bless Nigeria. Thank you very much. The Arike Royal Dance Troupe was on hand to thrill the audience with a traditional dance. In her remarks, the first lady of Kwara State, Dickiness Omolewa Yetunde Ahmed, spoke about the importance of women in the society. She congratulated her fellow colleague, the first lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Olufun Shamosu, for the well-merited honor bestowed on her by the Oni of Ife. Dickiness Omolewa Yetunde Ahmed charged women to continue to be worthy ambassadors of the women folk to break gender-imposed barriers and limitations, which seem to have kept the women in perpetual stagnation and bondage for a very long time. I am supposed to be speaking, talking about the importance of women today. But you know, with emphasis on Morami Ajacero, it is revived practice in African cultures and ancestors. Warriors are those who live a worthy life be celebrated and their statues are often placed in strategic places in towns and cities, such as the King's Palace and city centers. This is to commemorate the exemplary contribution to the development of a community and humanity at large. In light of the foregoing, the, the piece seeks to examine the significance and impact of Moremi Ajacero to the history of Ileife. Thus, First today shall be set around her achievement. The governors of Ogun and Undo states, Mr. Roti Miyakiri Dulu and Senator Ibikun Lamosu, also gave goodwill messages in which they both thanked the honor of Ife for the great honor done Mrs. Solufun Shamosu. They also praised Mrs. Solufun Shamosu for being a worthy role model to the women folk and advised her to be steadfast in that role. Odi Dodo, Karipe, Ipo, Toye, Moremi, Ajasoro, Kafu, Adati Berenye, Alati Madupe, Lowo Kabesi, Fun, Nkotonche, Leni. So, Odupe Okabesi, Mode Dupe Lowo Kwata Wambio. Let me just say that on behalf of my wife and all of us, and thank you, this is not an official function. Truly, I will, I'm sorry to say this openly. I never knew anything about this. And everybody that are here, thank you, God bless all of you. But let me assure you that anything that has to do with our culture, anything that has to do with our race, of course, you will not find me one thing. And you will not find any of I can speak for my brothers. All of us, this is what we say. I want to meet about you in the meeting. I want to meet you
Kabisi, let me assure you that we will continue to support anything that will continue to promote our culture, that will continue to promote who we are as a Yoruba uh, race. So thank you. We will support this. Clearly, I will personally support this. In his remarks, the honor of Ife, His Imperial Majesty, Oba Babatunde Enitogunsi, praised the exemplary qualities of humility, amiable disposition, and impeccable beauty of Mrs. Olufun Shamusun, a perfect replica of the highly loved and respected Mori Mia Jashoro. <laughs> Only man, not tea, it don't worry me. Bow no more tea, tea, pisha, mamma, not tea. Well, we wait here, boy. O to know who wait here, boy. Key, Moba, Lema, car, Latile, my roti, into your shop, in fact, Bobo, wa, on lava, filol, and lenny. I drew out the new bay, I shall wa, for my pound. Opolopo awon mo wa ti awon mo wa omo mo wa won o gbo ide ka ro ojire mo o ma ro gbogbo wa ki ara iwe yi ka ara iwe yi ko nse to won lati le ma fi fun awon omo ati omo mo wa baba julo e ti won se ni ede yoruba ki won ma ka yoruba ito na o dara pupo pupo o fi se iranti in two jacket book, what you want to be lady, Mofer Rowa, Tenny Tenny, Tekisani Tato, Tabalosi, I want Lou, me, be one shake bay, I shall let Caro Girega, Opo, Pupo, I shall want La Shawao, and Tobati so I shall know. What is so good to a belly Ayesho, along Lou Maria, I take a Gorio. The honor of Ife ended his remarks with a special poem for Mrs. Olufun Shamosu, and that was followed by the official dedication of the special book on the Mori Miyaja Shuro with the honoree in attendance. The official launch of the book followed immediately as dignitaries took turns to pick copies of the book. In fact, the Abafemia Wallowa University Leife also donated some acres of land to Mrs. Olufun Shamosu where she has promised to erect a special monument in honor of Morimi. Morimi was a brave and beautiful woman, a princess of the Yorubas, who was very significant in the history of the Yoruba people. Morimi was a member of the royal family of Emperor Dudua. To keep the name of Morimi in perpetual memory in the minds of all Yorubas, a number of public places are named after Morimi in contemporary Nigeria. In fact, Female halls of residence at the University of Lagos and the Obafemia Wallowa University OAU have structures in honor of Morimi. Before too long, tertiary institutions in Ogun State will soon begin to name female hostels in honor of Morimi. It will be recalled that in 2017, the Oni of Ife, Oba Babatunde Ogunsi, erected a statue of Morimi in his palace. It is the tallest in Nigeria today and the fourth tallest statue in Africa. In her address, the newly honored Morimi Ajashuru of our time and First Lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Sulufun Shamosu, thanked the Oni of Ife for deeming her fate for the great honor. She promised not to betray the trust invested in her by the Oni of Ife and the Yoruba race. Morimi Ajashuru Ulufun Shamosu urged her fellow women to do their best in whatever assignment they are given, so that they will continue to be celebrated. Mrs. Alufan Shamosu also thanked all the traditional rulers from all parts of the country, particularly in Ogun State, for honoring her invitation. She prayed for Johnny Mercies for all. I sincerely thank His Royal Majesty, Obade Yeye, Enito, Baba Tunde, Ogun Wusi, the honor of Ife, for finding me worthy of having the exemplary Queen Moremi book dedicated to me. I would like to assure you, Kabiesi, that I do not take this lightly, neither do I take it for granted. I can only pray, sir, that God would assist me 
to do that which would justify what has prompted you to bestow this honor upon me. I thank you most sincerely. I also thank other custodians who are part of the planning team to come about, that came about this decision. Thank you very much, His Imperial Majesty. I will try my utmost best to live up to expectation. The launch of the book, Mori Miyajashiro, dedicated to the First Lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Olufun Shamosu, ended with a reception that took place at the Grand Resort Inn, pitched on the hill of Ife, Ibada Road. From Biscon Communications, we heartily congratulate Mrs. Solufun Shamosu, the Mori Miyajashiro of our time, the paragon of beauty from Oshogbo in Oshun State. We also thank Senator Larry Waju Tejuisho, Senator representing Ogun Central Senatorial District at the National Assembly, for this special coverage, which he gives as a special present to Mrs. Solufun Shamosu, a woman Senator Larry Waju Tejuisho describes as a very simple and amiable woman with a great heart.